I don't know. Should we get? Do you want to get into the other stuff, what or time we want to save it for oh, what gosh. quarter after? Well, uh, I, you know, let's just talk about it real quick. Okay. Okay. Um, can you put this in just yeah. just quickly? One of these other. I things, feel like there's been like a real morning show this morning. We like talked about stuff. Well, you know. it's a lot of good stuff though. Um, a lot of times we forget those of us with the dream machine and up about the scanner. Let me get your hoop out for just a second. Okay. Friend. Am I just loading this up? Yeah, we're going into broader mode. This again is. I'm going to tell you this, and this is no lie. This is the truth. I had my dream machine for years before I knew the scanner worked in a hoop. <laughs> I thought, I, due to the brilliance of my education from my dealer, that the it, scanner was for bringing stuff into my machine to make, like, applique. Yeah. That's I, what I thought it was for. Believe, that's why I thought and I'm blaming was, my dealer educator. Just I, saying. yes, because I sometimes just assume things that everybody's like, oh, yeah, everybody knows that. So, but apparently not. Like the no. easy, like the easy angle is the greatest tool ever invented. I think everybody knows how to use it, but like, what is that? No, we don't. So I have to tell you. By the way, I'm going to plug her a little bit today because this her designs are amazing, and we're getting more and more in the store. This um, is, which one am I loading up in here? This is the work the workshop we we took this uh, this last week. There you go, Christine Dinnell. Dunnell? Dunno, we brought a couple of her designs in. This was a three-day workshop we had, and we had to choose either the Christmas version or the winter version. Becky chose winter version. And um, anyway, one of the things that she teaches you is how to line stuff up in the hoop, because as you can see, there's multiple hooping on these things, and they are beautiful, Bev. Thank you. This is not a beginner project. It is not. In fact, she wants you to know your machine um, yeah, Victoria, well, I do now. <laughs> Thanks, where were you two years ago? Um, <laughs> one of the things she, she does a lot is aligning multiple files, like that train, so it all lines up evenly. And we're going to be doing some of this in, in Frosty, too, so I thought it fit in well. But what she doesn't do, get out of here, what she doesn't do is show you how to do it if you have a brother machine in a, Scanner. She's from the Bernina world. Now she's a Bernina ambassador. She's a great designer. And but this she's is from why, the Bernina world. But this is why brother dream machines are so like I, I won't. This one that came in used is not going to be in the store probably for another week because when people know that I have them and they're looking for one, they're gone. Yeah. Because the new essence, which replaced the brother, the dream machine. Still has imaging built in, but you but you need to use your a, a cell phone camera and a special hoop for it. So it's a it's the pro it, the the process is still it the the functionality is there, but it's a little bit more convoluted. Whereas on the on the Dream Machine, it's all right there. And the only other way to get this scanner is with a Luminaire. So if you want to get into you a can, scanning you, machine yeah, you do it, for you, you, under for under. Twelve grand. With you've the other go models, with, the dream machine. with the other models, you would use a um, an there's iPad. A, yeah, there's an app. Phone. Yeah, there's an app. There's an app for that. Yeah, there's an app, and it works. I've messed around with it. There's probably a video a few years old where I played with it a little bit, so you can get a feel for now, it. Now you're not going to actually. You, I don't even know where the archive ended up, but yes, you could. We're not going to actually. Do so you want like a, a magnetic hoop for this? No, I don't. Okay. I'm I just want to show how we align it, not necessarily. This is not how we it. did it in class. We did oh, you not. You might need to loosen that hoop a little oh, bit. Apparently, I do. We did not hoop them. I'm kind of enjoying watching class. you wrestle it, but I you know. know. In class, just so you know, when when uh, Claudia teaches this, she hoops the fabric and she floats the stabilizer. Yep. So of course, I mean, we were rebels. I'm like. I'm going to hoop my stabilizer, I'm going to float my fabric. She actually had us make a video for her. She, right, Brenda? Yes, absolutely. She asked us to, to sit there and do a video for her because she had never thought of doing this this way before. But So I was so, quite, so, quite pleased with so my you're, little game. You're famous now. You're more famouser than your YouTube. How famous are we? Do you have about 500 people that follow this I, now? Uh, no. Um, but today, I'm just going to show you the alignment. 
There we go. Beating it to submission. Wow, I got a rubber mallet. Okay, wanna put that on there? Yep. Now she has us, and likewise, when we do frosty, we have marks on our fabric to tell us where to get going. Now, if you don't have a scanner, what you have to do is you have to hoop it very carefully. Yes. Notice I am not straight. I am very crooked there. What What am I loading for design? You were going to go to Snow Country Express. Yeah. I'm gonna put the screen up, Eddie. Snow Country Express. Why is it? Snow Country Express. <laughs> What is going on? Oh, I love this. I love the intelligence. Okay, you well, our screen isn't working. This is this is a real good uh, sales pitch for this machine. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, all of a sudden, nobody wants this. It doesn't yeah. like your stick. Does the home button even work? No, it, I don't know what. Is is it my stick because yeah. it was on the Luminaire it and it's be. a big stick? And it, it probably is exactly that. I like that. my sticks nice and big. Well, I'm just going to have to, if it doesn't work, see, this is, yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll just fire it up real quick. We should be good. All right. Course, if it's not, what, what I would do, first of all, is I would scan my fabric. Because I can, because I have a scanner. Eddie, back. They're talking and stuff. <laughs> I have the, there we you go. Yeah, okay. the scanner. Winter, winter or Christmas? Winter. winter. Which borders. One? Borders. Top border. Top border. Number one. Number one. Okay, center car. Now, the other thing that's cool about this, for those of us with larger hoops, people, is don't be afraid to bring in more than one design. Like those of us who have the 14 and 16 inch hoops. Am I, I don't, this? I don't want to, you can scan now, yep. I don't want to okay. sit there and load one choo-choo car in at a time because I don't have and to. And scanning on this is just the push of a, a button. button. Instead of m messing around with cameras and hoops it, and it all that. It literally is. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to see is it's going to pick up those blue lines that I've drawn on my fabric. And in her design, she has alignment lines built into the design, um, which if you go to edit and move... Oh, yeah, you got I, your I, grid turn on. I would not have my grid on when I'm skiing. Yeah, and I'm looking at that. I'm like, it didn't pick up the picture, but then I realized that we have it in white. So there's that. I turned my grid off. Okay. To me, that's distracting. All right, so there's that. Okay. And then you want to move it? In her design, you see how she's got a stitch line across the top of the train? How come I can't see my blue line? I don't burnt? know. That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> on her train she has built in an align on this particular car and she does that on all her designs which which is brilliant but i can then use that straight line that she's given me to place with a grid is how she does it i can use it to place with the blue line i put on my fabric and every every train car that comes in has an alignment line in it so i i can be straight even though Brent can't see my blue line. Yeah, that's weird. I've never run into this. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> because that's just the way it is Okay, going. well then. The idea is you would see that blue line, and then I could just move my car or rotate it to oh, line. Oh, there it is. I can kind of see it. Let me... Is it just light? Maybe yeah, you need really to light, change yeah. the color of it. Change the color of what? The, the background. Well, that won't help because it's the image that we scanned is the problem. Oh, you know what? It's because of all the studio lights I get. Yeah. That, you know, if we had, that's exactly what it is. You've got a big studio light shining down. When you're scanning, you do not want any other direct light on. Want to try can, it again by shutting that light you off? You can kind of see the blue line over here. Yeah, but okay. I bet, I bet yeah. If we it's it's because of the studio light. I bet if that gets turned off, that'll make a big, um, big difference. If you have too much lighting in your room... Anything like finding your snowman or scanning your your uh, stuff doesn't work as well. I've had a window with the shade pulled up, and I get, can't find snowman, can't find snowman. Yep, and see, there you go. Now you can kind of see it on there. You can um, see it better. Yeah, let me actually. So now what you're able to do... Is you can kind of kind see of that. See it. Yeah, you could have also blown yeah. it up with your percentages. It's already at 150, but we'll blow it up again. 
So you can see that blue line on there, kind of. Kind of. Um, and so what we're going to do... So if you pan back up towards the... Oh, shrink it down and pan a little bit. You'll yeah. see see the black line along the choo-choo between the car and the roof. Yeah, so you've got this black line here. Yeah, that's an alignment line. you can kind of see this blue line here. Yep. That's the, the blue line is what we put on our piece. Yep, so then you can use your alignment tools to go ahead and line that up because you've scanned in the, the scanning. Yep, so I'm going to so bring this cool. down to here and kind of move that over to here and you can do rotate and i'm gonna have to rotate a little bit because we're not quite perfectly straight in yeah the... but that see all that's done after i get to my machine i'm not fiddling so, and diddling yeah and if you yeah, and this is where if i'm going to baste i'm going to add the basting stitch after i do the alignment just yep. as a good habit so now we've got that, those up. black lines lined up with our blue yep um, so points. now if you brought in another just real quickly again it's the beauty of the scanner add in um Back to snow country, um, winter, borders, top, oops, whoops, whoops, the wrong one. Back to top row. There's a lot of stuff. First top here. row, sledding or s'mores? No, not top row, borders. Oh, borders. It's the borders are top row. Top border. First one? Yep. Number two. Number two, okay. The gift car. Yep. So when he comes in, see that see well they're on top of but see the little curly cue down below it? If you move it. Yeah. That's what you use to line up with the other car. Yeah, this little piece right here. Yeah. Now So we're in a small hoop right now. Yeah, so it's not gonna let us but we could move right. that up to line up with But you it. see I have this is how you would do multiple alignments in one hoop using your scanning feature and you move keys. Yep. You're not taking it in and out, you're not putting grids on your thing, you're not you're not doing any of that. And you can literally get them all lined up beautifully without going back and forth in a hooping thing. Yep. And let's see, Victoria said uh, um I worked a few of her designs. Don't like what she shows you to place designs. I'm a big fan of templates. Yeah, we yeah. kind of showed her different ways to place the designs, Victoria, and it was kind of fun because I think I think she was surprised. At one point, she said, I never thought of that. So, I'm like, yeah, that's how we that's roll in yep. at FPQ Land. It's right, FPQ Land. <laughs> like, subscribe, tell your friends about us, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, we, changed, we changed things up a little bit, and it was fun. You know, I was going to say, can you bring this one in? All right, so that's all I had. That's okay. Yeah, well, look at that, we're cool. at 930. We're doing good. All right. Hope you all learned it. something tonight. Today. Like this morning. This morning. Oh, I'm working on getting a special guest on here. It's taking some arm twisting. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna kind of pump her a little bit, and then she watches it. She's like, you shouldn't have said anything. Oh, goodness. And no, it's not gonna, it's gonna, it's probably gonna be, uh, probably in about a month or so. But you know who, the free motion on that really nice panel? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get her to come on here and talk about free motion quilting because she's awesome. Oh, that would be exciting. Oh, yeah. And if you see her work, it's, she was in here. She's like, do you think this is good enough? And I'm like, holy cow, woman, that's fantastic. Nice. And she's like, you're so kind. <laughs> she's, no, really, she's not. a sweetheart. And I'm trying to convince her that she wants to come play on YouTube with us. But anyway, that we may have a special guest coming up, I'm hoping, in the next month or so. Sweet. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. And I think our door just opened, so that means we have to... Um, we to to go wrap to, it up and I got to get to work. Do real work. Yes. Yeah. So Thank thanks you, for joining Victoria. us. Thanks for joining I'm us for another get, episode get of Shenanigans. That, getting on that cool remember, design software. Remember to sew on and be excellent to each other. Toodles. Oh.